Hello, everyone. Today we are with Molly. Molly Hi. is my client, and I am thrilled and very excited and happy to introduce Molly to you because we worked together for a while. Uh, we achieved quite good uh, things, mm -hmm. very successful, and I'm going to give her the words right away to tell you about herself and uh, to introduce herself. <laughs> well, I'm Molly, and I live fairly close to Maria and knew her for a bit of time, and um, I work full-time from home, and I'm about to turn 70 this year, and I thought that it was probably time that I looked at um, some other options for my health. I've had trouble getting a doctor here, and uh, I have a nurse practitioner, but they don't always hear your concerns or listen to you. They just prescribe pills, and I wanted to try something new, so I knew Maria, and I sort of said, so I hear that you help people with their health, and she said, yes, I do, and so she so, came over for a visit, and we had a discussion. And, and we did evaluation. Oh, yeah. And that's the way we started. Um, my question for you is I want to just bring you a little bit further back. Okay. Um, were you apprehensive to move forward to approach me? Was there something, a barrier um, in your thoughts? I guess there might have been two uh, barriers. One was I didn't want to change my life. I had finally got to a point in my life where I'm very happy and I thought why do I need to change at this age and second I was concerned about how much it would cost and whether on a single income I could do it but what I found is that I've saved so much money on other things that it was very worthwhile for me to move forward <laughs> great Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty of the whole story. Okay. So Molly, what uh, specific needs uh, did you address? Well, a year ago, uh, August, I was diagnosed with burning mouse syndrome. And uh, I kept getting the results of, well, there's nothing we can do. You're just going to have to live with it. And it's like having your mouth burn, like you burnt the roof of your mouth, but your whole mouth burns all the time. So I wanted to see if Maria could help with that. I was also concerned about the fact that I was still on a few drugs that maybe I didn't need to be on anymore. And I wanted to make sure that my, I was worried about my posture. I was very concerned that I was gonna become old and shoulder curled and that sort of thing. And I really wanted to be upright and straight and it was important to me. And I felt that Maria could really help me with that. Fantastic. Was there anything I forgot that I've told you I wanted you to do? <laughs> When we did the evaluation, we found out that we can improve so many things. Yes. Um, but the most important, her concern was uh, her mouth burning thing and her posture, her strength, her independency, uh, because Molly uh, was starting with uh, osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a concern because the condition can develop quite fast and we have to work through it. Yeah. So yes, like now I have been told that I was high risk for osteoporosis, but I was this was the first time that I'd noticed it come up on a scan. So yeah, I was very concerned about that. Yeah. And uh, I would like to mention something uh, or what you don't know for her past, that Molly came with a very strong mind, um, very positive, knowing uh, that she has to work for her health. It's not coming just like that. Uh, it is not something we wish for and Boop, it happens. No, we work on it with our mind, with our everyday life. And for from this side, um, Molly is a blessing for me. It's because it's a great experience for the holistic practitioner um, to have a client who takes everything very seriously. And when you leave the appointment, you know that the 23 hours following until the next appointment, this client will do exactly what you require and more. 
and uh, we'll ask you questions. We'll give you feedback and then you can tailor the plan to their needs, their real needs, because our protocol was is a living document. Yes, we fill in and uh, all the time we change it, we tailor it to what happens uh, to her body. Yeah. So let's talk about what did you achieve so far? We started, I see July 6th, I think. Yes. Yeah. So we're talking uh, four months now. Yes. Um, after you went through my questionnaire, um, I, little did I know that I probably needed help in more areas than I thought, but that was good. And, um, and so you came up with a plan for me and uh, I, I felt like I don't know if I can do it. Uh, one of the biggest challenges was that I like to have a couple glasses of wine at night and chill out because I work all day and I and my sister and I talk on the phone and drink a glass of wine together. And I thought, I don't know if I want to give that up. And then there was, you know, past the night. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give that up. And so all these things. But you know what? The minute Maria left, I just went, I can do this. And I just took her program. We had a few issues with, you know, what type of foods were working for me. And we found the right mix after a week. And I have stuck to it. I, I never had a glass of wine again in ho at the home. I, I treat myself when I go out with my girlfriends, maybe once a week. I think I'm averaging maybe a glass of wine once a week. And that's it. I've cut out all of the pastas and the breads and I don't feel like I need them anymore. I don't feel like I crave them anymore. I don't feel like they're part of my life anymore. As much as it's fun to go out for dinner and have something that you're not eating at home, and I still do that, and Maria keeps telling me, go ahead and do it, but it's hard for me because once I stick to a plan, I stick to the plan. <laughs> so, um, yeah, does that sort of answer your question? what you were talking about <laughs> yes um very important is to find the metabolic typing of the client and then to um uh give suggestions accordingly to their needs um we found the metabolic typing of molly molly has a big chart with foods she can incorporate and she can work around them and find exactly those foods that are real real medicine for her and of course we're human beings we need to socialize that's why we go with the rule 80 20 <laughs> which means at home um, we try to be very good and follow the plan and when we go out with friends we are just relax have this glass of wine this usually does not reflect in a very bad way um, the overall health and what we try to achieve in our plan in terms of health so yeah that's what we're doing uh, very important it was the whole evaluation where I saw that we have to take care of the digestive system uh, because Molly went through cancer yeah. at a very early age, a uh, very young age, and uh, she went through a lot of radiation that put a great um, impact, negative impact on the digestive system. Um, and we had to work through it. Um, so now we really fixed a lot of things there. Mm -hmm. uh, we work also on the nervous system with nervine tonics. Yes, which I love. <laughs> which we enjoy very much. Uh, the reason why is that digestive system and nervous system, they work together. You can't work on one and not work on the other. Because nowadays we know that between uh, in the communication between the gut and the brain, the information from the gut to the brain is 90% of the information between both organs. And only 10% goes from the brain to the gut. So we want a healthy digestive system. That's why so much efforts on the nutrition, um, on the elimination and the entire digestive system from mouth to anus. I do this with every, every client. So we have a few great achievements. Yes, we do. And yes, I will let Molly tell you about it. 
Well, I've had back pain probably for a, over a year, maybe longer. Um, I garden a lot and I wash my dogs a lot. And um, I sometimes would get up and I couldn't straighten up or I would be in terrible pain all day and not get, be able to get comfortable while I'm working. And I just, uh, yeah, I just, I just kept ignoring it, but it was there all the time. And uh, after about two months working with Maria, I, one day I washed the dogs and I got up from the bathtub. I was kneeling over and I have a very big dog and, um, and I got up and there was no pain. And I've been doing all kinds of things around the house, cleaning and vacuuming that I normally would have back pain from, no pain. So that is unbelievable. I, I didn't believe that that would ever be fixed. Having in mind that she uh, was starting osteoporosis with a problem at uh, the uh, lumbar spine. Yeah, true. Yeah. And then the other thing, which probably isn't easy for most women to talk about, but because I had massive radiation and um, two children, I had for, well, I had cancer at 37, so probably by 45, I was incontinent. And I just figured I'm incontinent. I've had all that radiation. They told me I might not even have a bladder when I was done and everything's working. So I just kind of lived with it. And Maria <laughs> didn't really tell me that I would get rid of it, but <laughs> it's gone. It's literally gone. I used to have to curl and wear pads and uh, I, it's not nice things to talk about, but it happens to all of us. And I had no idea that in such a short period of time and with the very few things that I felt were exercises for my incontinence, I didn't even know that half the exercises would help me, but I am no longer incontinent at all. This is so wonderful. I'm <laughs> so happy to hear that um, because um, what happens is 70% of the women in North America are having incontinence. What is incontinence? It is every time when you sneeze or you uh, have some effort, you're lifting something, uh, you leak. So that's what it is. And it's very awkward socially. It's very, um, it's yeah. very uncomfortable. It's not pleasant. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know uh, at first that I can help Molly because I didn't know what the radiation did to the body. And I waited for a few months, a couple of months to see how the body responds to what we're doing. Yeah. And only then I told her, you know what, uh, I think we can work on it and we can have a success. And boom, <laughs> we, did. <laughs> we did. And this is so wonderful. Yeah. And there is one more thing yeah. we're working on now. Uh Okay, which one is that? Uh, the one thing I know is pressure. that, yeah, high blood pressure. But yeah. before I go into that, I will mention yeah. that losing weight was not part of this process for me. It was my health, but I've lost, I don't know, I don't have scales, but I'm sure that I've lost close to 30 pounds at this point. I've gone from a size 12 to 10 to eight to six, eight, eight to six. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dog is crying. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was a real blessing. I haven't been this thin since, I, I don't know if I've ever been this thin and I feel great. I feel so healthy all over. And then the other thing that we were gonna talk about was that um, my blood pressure. I've been on blood pressure since I got done with radiation and it's okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, um all of a sudden I was feeling very sluggish and I kept saying to Maria, you know, I'm, I'm tired. I feel tired all the time. And, and she said, well, maybe you don't, you're on these blood pressure pills and maybe your blood pressure is low. And sure enough, I checked my blood pressure and it was really low. So I have convinced, well, I haven't convinced. I talked to my nurse. Oh, okay. I talked to my nurse practitioner and she said, yes, I'll try every other day. And I feel so much better. And I believe within a few weeks, I will be completely off of my blood pressure pills. Yes, we have great results with that. I'm so very happy because um, the pills have side effects and they really cause a discomfort in life. And they can cause disease as well. The uh, particular blood pressure pill doesn't have uh, graft side effects, they're mild side effects. 
if mild for you is feeling dizzy or have a stomach problem or headaches, I don't think these are mild effects, but that's the way the medicine puts them because you can bear them, right? Yes. And I will be thrilled when Molly is completely off her high blood pressure. Yeah. This is, um, for me, it's very important. I think it's been two weeks now that I've done every other yeah. day. I've missed a couple. I forgot and taken yeah. them, but now I've got it a schedule written down so I won't forget. And yeah. I feel really good. Like today I had the blood pressure pill and I noticed I felt tired today. Yeah. So. Yeah, we know that uh, in the days where she doesn't take the high blood pressure, she feels better. More energy. Uh, yeah, more energy. And uh, she takes measurements. So we know what is her optimum blood pressure. And uh, this will be discussed with her health practitioner. <laughs> so, well, I would highly recommend that you talk to Maria because she really has changed my life. And I've told her this a hundred times since she's been coming here. I said, I want you to be in my life forever because my health is important to me and uh, living a long life to enjoy my grandchildren is extremely important to me. So thank you, Maria. This is great. Well, I'm looking for you, uh, looking forward uh, to meeting you, all of you who would like to discuss health and see how I can help you. Thanks. Follow for more Transform Perform. Drop a comment if you have any questions.